Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 4 to the power of x minus 2, this is equal to 15, so what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. This exponential equation is in the form of a to the power of n minus m, which we can express as a to the power of n divided by a to the power of m. So we have 4 to the power of x divided by 4 to the power of 2, this is equal to 15. Now let's multiply both signs by 4 to the power of 2, so that now 4 to the power of 2 simplifies, so that we have 4 to the power of x, this is equal to 15, multiplied by 4 to the power of 2. To solve for x here, we introduce logarithm on both signs, so we have log 4 to the power of x, this is equal to log 15 multiplying by 4 to the power of 2. The next step is that log 4 to the power of x. This is in the form of log a to the power of n, which we can express as n log log a. Applying this power rule property, then log 4 to the power of x becomes x log 4. This is equal to log 15 multiplying by 4 to the power of 2. So let's divide both signs by log 4. Here we have log 4. So let's simplify log 4 and log 4 here so that we have x is equal to log 15 multiplying by 4 to the power of 2 divided by log 4. We have that log 15 times 4 to the power of 2. This is in the form of log a multiplied by b, which we can express as log a plus log b. Now, applying this logarithm property, applying this logarithm property, we have x is equal to, this is log 15, divided by log 4, then plus, this is log 4, to the power of 2 divided by log 4. Now, we have that log 4 to the power of 2. Applying the power rule property, that is log a to the power of n, this can be expressed as n log a. Applying this property, then we have x is equal to, this is log 15 divided by log 4, then plus 2, this is log 4, divided by log 4. So log 4 and log 4 here simplifies so that we have x is equal to 2 plus this is log 15 divided by log 4. Now the next step is that we can express 15. This is the same thing as 5 multiplied by 3 and we can express 4 as 2 to the power of 2. So we have x equal to 2 plus, this is log 5 multiplied by 3, divided by log 2 to the power of 2. So here we have x equal to 2 plus, this is log 5, divided by log 2 to the power of 2, then plus log 3, divided by log 2 to the power of 2. Again, applying the power of property here, we have that x is equal to 2 plus, now this is log 5, divided by log 2 to the power of 2 becomes 2, log 2, then plus, here we have log 3, divided by log 2 to the power of 2 becomes 2, log 2. Now we have that rock 5 over rock 2 and rock 3 over rock 2. This is in the form of rock A divided by rock B, which we can express as rock A to base B. So applying this property, then we have x is equal to 2 plus, this is the same thing as a half rock 5 to base 2, then plus a half rock 3 to base 2. So this is the value of x. This is the value of x. The next step from here, 
let's verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we have that 4 to the power of x minus 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 15. Now, let's substitute the value of x. Remember, we have 4 to the power of 2 plus a half. This is rock 5 to base 2. Then plus a half rock 3 to base 2. Then subtract 2. This should give us a value of 15. We have that here. We have 2 minus 2. So this means we have 4 to the power of 2 minus 2. This is 0. Then plus a half rock 5 to base 2. Then plus a half rock 3 to base 2. This should give us a value of 15. Now, we have that now, we can express 4 as 2 to the power of 2. So here we have 2 to the power of 2, multiplying by 0 plus a half rock 5 to base 2, then plus a half, this is rock 3 to base 2, this should give us a value of 15. Now, let's open the parentheses here. So we have 2 to the power of 2 times 0. This is 0. Then plus 2 and 2 here simplifies. So we have rog 5 to base 2. Then plus 2 and 2 here simplifies. So we have rog 3 to base 2. This should give us a value of 15. The next step is that 2 to the power of 0. This is in the form of a to the power of 0, which essentially is equal to 1. So, 2 to the power of 0 here. Remember 2 to the power of 0 plus rock 5 to base 2 plus rock 3 to base 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n plus m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplying by a to the power of m. So, we have 2 to the power of 0 times 2 to the power of rock 5 to base 2, multiplying by 2 to the power of rock, we have rock 3 to base 2. This should give us a value of 15. Now, we are saying that 2 to the power of 0, this is in the form of a to the power of 0, which is 1. So 2 to the power of 0, this is 1, multiplying by 2 to the power of rock 5 to base 2. This is in the form of a to the power of rock b to base a. And this essentially is supposed to give us a value of b. So this implies that 2 to the power of rock 5 to base 2, this is equal to 5. Okay? And we have 2 to the power of rock 3 to base 2, this is equal to 3. So now let's substitute 5 and 3 into this equation here. So we have 1 times 5 multiplied by 3. This should give us a value of 15. So this implies that here we have 5 times 3 times 1. This is equal to 15, which is equal to 15. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of x here, which is equal to 2, okay, which is equal to 2, plus a half rock 5 to base 2, plus a half rock 3 to base 2, actually satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video, okay? And kindly subscribe. Please like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.